Hey family, Sis D here. I um, just wanted to drop a really quick nugget, something that was rolling around in my brain. And what kept coming to me is Crafty Council is being used to help us as a melanated community self-destruct and many of us don't even know it. So um, yeah, if you wanna go look for Crafty Council and what it is, I always go to the Holy Scriptures, you guys already know. So Psalms 83 and three tells us that we actually do have a fleshly enemy <laughs> and a spiritual one that is coming for us that wants our destruction and our demise. So go there um, and look it up. But what I'm gonna say is Crafty Council is crafty. When you think of the word crafty, you think of cunning, manipulative, conniving, deceptive, all those synonyms would probably go well for go well with crafty okay so we have people the powers that be the higher ups i would even beg to say the one percenters three percenters that are in their think tanks in their boardrooms in their um ritual channels or chambers plotting how they can get us to fall further from our thrones and so um, some of the ways that Crafty Council is happening and many of us are probably not even aware that's happening. I'm going to just throw some things out there. OK, so I don't know if y'all know, but music. Um, King David, one of the wisest men recorded, knew the power of music and knew that it, how it could help soothe the soul. So music is more than just sound. There's vibration, frequency and energy that goes with music. But think about the kind of music that we're being offered now. Think about it. Murder rap, trap music. What um, chords are they using? What beats are they using? Food for thought, right? And movies, shows, any visual entertainment. Is it something positive? Is it uplifting? Is it anything that can actually help us progress and mature and go and evolve as people or is it more reality tv let's think about it is there consciousness being presented to us is there anything uplifting really truly or are we getting more murder mysteries witchcraft and occultism everything you turn on now is occultism or there's witches or warlocks in it or something of the sort dark magic but of course the powers that be and we should always question who are these people that are you know running the entertainment business we know we see the melanated faces in front because of course we bring the juice we bring the magic of course we know that's what we do but who's in the background who's writing the scripts who's pushing the plots we should question these things okay and then also this isn't a new one but um let's think about it a little bit deeper is uh alcohol drugs guns murder some of these things have been happening since the earliest ages that we can think of on this continent northern kingdom was forced into captivity in 1490 yes northern kingdom so-called mexicans hispanics it's a car that's you y'all were in captivity first they started destroying trying to destroy y'all first then us darker melanated ones 1619 if you go for that or not we were already here but that's that's the lies we've been told but those are the stories for other days but yes there has been more than one captivity and in that time we've been given knives guns liquor blankets should i go on do I need do I need to go for any further so crafty counsel we really need to stop and think about question every single thing that's going on around us the food that we're being given yet again Popeyes on every corner Sonics 
Burger King, Jack in the Box. Uh, I'm, I'm in SoCal, so those are some of the places here. But y'all, let's think about it. In Flint, is the water still clean? Is it has it been cleaned yet? It's still dealing with lead. Some of the other major cities dealing with lead issues in their water. So all of these are things that are meant to destroy us. Are you telling me some six or seven years later that Flint could not have been dealt with or cleaned up? These are some of the things we definitely need to begin to question and ask ourselves what's really going on to not be afraid to chase after the answers to seek truth. Um, I would even go so far as to say um, there are a lot of consciousness content creators that are on YouTube and other platforms that are making us think, making us get outside of our heads and out of the box to say, hmm, let's look, let's think about that a little bit differently. Let's let's examine. Yeah, maybe that could be, you know, something we need to explore so that we can change. So I would challenge each and every one of you before I end this video to be mindful and watch your gates, your eye gates. Be mindful of what you're, what you're seeing, what you're watching, your ear gates. Be mindful of what you're hearing, what you are exposing yourself to, what you're allowing yourself to listen, um, what you are taking in. Actually, I'm going to go as far as scripturally says, it's not what comes into the body that defiles the body but it's what's inside that comes out that defiles the body. So uh, examine what words you're using, what uh, your language is, what you're speaking. Are you speaking positivity? Are you speaking love, light? We are creative beings. We have the ability, the power with our mouths to create life, to bring forth life if we speak it. So are you speaking life or are you speaking death? think about it I would also go as far as to say be mindful who is in your circle I've said this yet again people have their energies and auras around them are you around positive people are you around people that are negative are you around people that are downers are you around people that are not pushing or striving for anything better if that's your circle I would re-examine definitely I want to be around people who are positive, personally. And if I slip off my game, I'm human, I do. I want somebody to be, Sis D, you are not on it. You are bugging right now. You're tripping. I'm old, y'all. So, that's, yeah, sorry for the old, old people's thing. But I want some, somebody to be able to snatch me and shake me back into my right, conscious, ya fearing mind to say, you are not on it right now. You better check your spirit and come on back if that is not your circle I mean whatever works for you but if we're going to elevate as a people if we're going to continue to go to that next level that's what's required right now the low energy low vibration only thinking about simple things like, oh, I got to go get that bag. I got to go get that pepper, that cheddar, whatever terminology you want to use. I got to get them racks. If that's all you're thinking about, money that's common, that doesn't even, it isn't even worth the ink that it's the paper is printed on. If you're thinking about clubbing and drinking and smoking and zannies, and if that's all you're thinking, I, I would, yeah, I, I feel very sad for you. That's all I could say. I said in another video, the paradigm shift has happened. We are no longer in that age and time where we can just think that things are going to be, be great and normal and right and righteous and upright. They are not. We have to speak them. So with all that, with all that being said, I'm going to wish you guys a great, what is it? I'm going to say Friday or sixth day 
of the week. I hate using those names because they have ties to them that disturb me. So you will hear me say, like the Most High said, he numbered them and did not name them. <laughs> so that is another thing that you should think about. So I'm going to say what the Most High said. Happy sixth day of the week. You guys go out and have a great and incredible day. Um, I actually have an appointment so I'm going to get ready to close out but again you guys have an incredible day um, I know that this has been a lot to process but thank you for your time thank you for stopping by to share with me if you guys have comments please feel free um, I don't know like share whatever but um, let's get let's get the information out there let's continue to vibe up vibe up y'all vibe up this is D and I'm out